and also be <laughs> the first thing I think of when I think of Italy. Um, I think of pleasure and also of uh, some, uh, but it's, it's a complicated experience for me going to Italy. I enjoy it immensely, but there are always, as I said in my paper, conflictual moments where I'm very aware of how um, American I am. Okay. What reminds me of Italy? Sunday dinner at the Chimflona household. Um, everybody in the kitchen preparing the food and just enjoying. So if you ask me my first image of Italy and what I identify with, um, I, think, I think of my grandmother's land, the Giardino, which is the garden in, in English. And it's a piece of property that's still in my, um, it's actually mine in my name. And so it's a property that my grandmother talked about when she was a child, you know, playing there when she was a little girl. And when my mother was a child in Italy, she played. Years ago, I, I met my family in Italy, uh, in Campania, for the first time. And uh, my experience is like that, uh, discussed in one of the programs today, which is that they immediately made me feel as if they'd always known me, I'd always known them. The first no thing that I think of, whenever I think of Italy, is the smell of the airport. A combination of kerosene and coffee. I think for me, return means um, going back to some flavors in terms of food, uh, the food of my childhood. I think. And it's a kind of an interesting journey because um, I was born and raised in Tuscany. And I think that I was sort of um, denying my southern uh, origins. And I remember that I, I had this, I had this food, my, the food that my grandmother would make and um, all sorts of other things that I totally hated when I was a child. And then I think I kind of went back. I was born in Bordighera, in the town on the, the Green Coast. And I had an interesting experience about 30 years ago. I'm in San Francisco, and I get up in the morning, I open the window, we got the, in the air, no? It's the 30th anniversary of my first trip back to Italy. I'm going back to Rome in uh, August, from August 1st to the 15th, just to be there, and to see my family, and to revisit why I went back. It changed my whole life. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I did not go back to Italy. When I think about Italy, I think about uh, just uh, Napoli, the streets, just the people, Campania, my town of uh, Decorata, Provincia di Benevento, Colesanito, all that. Just uh, the various just poesia, hip-hop scene, everything everything that, uh, that has to do with just art and culture, proprio, everything uh, just down in the Bronx, just, uh, just everything. Two words, grace and beauty. Grace because uh, Italians uh, <laughs> are always doing things with uh, a pleasure that makes them particularly graceful. And beauty because we have uh, created beauty. With the image comes to my mind is the blue sky, the Italian blue sky. Okay. The first thing that comes to mind is the city of Rome. The second thing that comes to mind is Calabria, from La Silla, looking down to the city of Cosenza, going up to the other side, where you have the Apennines. It's a fantastic archetypal view. One thing that reminds me of Italy is the smell of pasta cooking, the fresh sauce and the food. My mother is a wonderful cook, and she comes from Sicily. Uh, my, my favorite uh, film, one of my favorite films, and um, Reminiscences of Italy comes from Cinema Paradiso. The theme song, the Moroccan's theme song, just stays with me, and it's so nostalgic. I just, ever since I, I saw it and heard it, over 20 years ago, it's been the, the song that I think of that takes me back to the streets of Italy and makes me feel like I want to... Uno, i mori that I have gold in, in the street, the orange gold walls in the streets, like of Rome. Number two, the hands of my uncles, i, i contadini, and the hands that he has that are tools, that are machines. 
Uh, number three, Ifiki, Ikulum, the dark black figs of the south that when they break open, they're like a woman's vagina. Number four, I would say the fountains. We're here to find the Rome. Uh, two nights ago, we went to see um, the, at the New York Philharmonic, there was Ricardo Muti, and he did the Pines of Rome. And when they get to the part where they talk about the, uh, when he, the music uh, speaks because it's a uh, tone poem, when it speaks about the, um, the uh, pines of the Villa Borghese, or the pines at the catacombs. When I think of Italy, I think of Rome, and uh, it's the city where I come from. I came uh, to New York 30 years ago. And when I go there now, it's changed. The thing that more uh, strikes me, the fact that it's become a much more cosmopolitan city. There are people from all over the world. You can see films from all over the world. And things I think of when I think of Italy, given my personal history, I was third generation Italian American. My mother was born uh, in New York City, in East Harlem, and when we grew up, she reminded us constantly that we were American, not Italian. So we grew up with a mindset which was relevant to her historical experience, uh, that uh, the pressure to Americanize and this desire to forget about where her ancestors When I think of Italy, the first thing I think of is a scene from the street where my grandmother lived, which was called the Via Gizia Capizzo Falcone, because I used to spend all my summers there. And I stayed on that street almost all the time and played with all the children on the street. All right, well, I guess uh, what reminds me of Italy as a, an Italian-American and more importantly, a Sicilian-American, um, everything, every smell, every scent um, associated with Sicily, most importantly, probably the, the smell of fresh bread being baked uh, at the early hours of the morning. What color reminds me of Italy? Jeez, uh, uh, red, green, and white, for sure. I mean, that's the colored flag. Uh, blue reminds me a lot of Italy. I, was, I lived in Sicily for quite a bit.